and one, two. <laughs> <Scoodly doodly doodly. laughs> Welcome to Drawfee, the show I've taken over now that Nathan's out of town. I'm Willie. I'm Julia. I'm Jacob. And today, am I supposed to be introducing it? Yeah. 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 Oh, cool. I just did. Bring it, it right. up, dude. And today, uh, well, you know how uh, Nathan and Caldwell have so nicely. Uh, let us on their show all these years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Very like kind brought of brought us into their creative child. Well, uh, they're out of town now, so we're going to make fun of them behind their backs. Yeah. Uh, we have decided uh, to do knockoff Nathan and Caldwell. Morning knockoff Morning knockoff Copyright. Like TM. So, so I'm, I'm going to jump right into it because I'm ready to draw knockoff Nathan. Knockoff Nathan. Straight away. Claiming Nathan. I'm, I'm claiming the Nathan. I feel like when drawing a Nathan, you always must start with the beard. That's yeah. most of his personality. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to get... in his office, using his computer, and we're going to yeah make fun of him relentlessly. I'm so guys, like... what's your least favorite part about Nathan now that he can't... <laughs> he'll never hear this. Never. He, he doesn't have to edit it. How can Uh-oh. I pick just one um, least favorite part? There's so much to dislike. We, we like his beard, and that's about it, right? I mean, that's Jacob's done with his drawing now. I'm yeah. done. You're done. Oh my God! No, but that's just Nathan. I mean, <laughs> yes. that's not even knockoff Nathan. That, <laughs> no, if you yeah. sh- if you tell that to me and they're like, "That's Nathan," it's that Nathan. is perfectly Nathan. Oh my God! It's like Nathan as a squid. We just I also love it. <laughs> bonus mini episode: How to draw Nathan Yaffe. <laughs> <laughs> just draw. His- <laughs> <laughs> He's perfect. My perfect child. We did it. If you showed me that, though, and we're like, who is this? I would be like, that's Nathan. That's got to be Nathan, right? Yeah. We should definitely do an app where we draw, like, each other using very simple shapes and see, like, how simple we can get it. Because you just accomplished it with Nathan. Yeah, that would would be very fun. Yeah. I am very curious to know, like, what my, like, illustrator shorthand shorthand is. Yeah. Yeah. Like, there are a lot of people who have them. Like, you know who has one, like, a million times over is Adam Conover. Like, yeah. I've, yeah. like, seen him, and I'm, like, he is mostly famous. I mean, he's famous because he's talented, but he is mostly famous because, like, you could figure out who he is just by looking at, like, a Just glasses stick figure of and him. hair. If you yeah. have the glasses and the hair, you know it's him. Um, uh, Caldwell's so an easy one, too. Tooth. Yeah, I'm drawing a wisdom tooth. That's what you've Caldwell got so far. Easy. Caldwell's yeah. easy. You just take a normal face and then shift the face upwards on yeah. the head you so that the chin like... is, you smush the face part. Yeah. And then you got forehead and chin, <laughs> and you have yourself a Caldwell. It's true. Um, as it may be apparent right now, I'm drawing to Nathan. To Nathan. Oh, to Nathan Yappy. That's a good one. I feel like if you got to a knock off Nathan, you may yeah. as well do an opposite Nathan. Yeah. He's become what he hates. He is haunted mm-hmm. by his new visage. Do people know Nathan is very against tomatoes? Yeah, he hates him. I'm sure everyone knows okay. that by now. They He's must. Well, I tomatoes. feel like just in case someone <laughs> yeah. doesn't know that Nathan is <laughs> very anti tomato. No, I like the phrase against tomatoes. It's like he, he regularly protests. Yeah, he, he shows up. He kind of does, though. He does hate tomatoes. You know what pisses me off, though? Okay, so I have uh, known Nathan three years now. I've probably ordered pizza with him 50 times. <laughs> Every time he wa- he's like, oh, I need, I need like a white pizza. I freaking saw him one time he was really hungry, and he ate a piece of pizza with tomatoes on it. And it was the most upsetting thing that that, ever happened. Is that true, though? Yes, it is. He was just like, well, I guess it's here. That is actually upsetting to me. Because now everything I know about Nathan is wrong. Right? That's the only thing I know about Nathan, apparently. That is, honestly, though, like, Nathan (laughs) is the simplest man alive, except for his, like, tomato... Hatred. Hatred. He is, like, like, very accepting of everything. He's just, like, very laid back until it comes to tomatoes. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. It's, like, I know a lot of nice people who have, like, road rage because they just wait until, right. like, they can just, like, yell at, like, the void. Yeah. yeah and once Nathan they're yells, in the car. Nathan has tomato rage. Tomato rage. <laughs> nothing, nothing brings out his inner fury, like, but, like, I wonder what it is about, because, like, even the sight of one will upset him. Oh, that's interesting. I don't see. I don't like whole tomatoes, but I like ketchup and marinara sauce and all that jazz. Yeah. Well, you know? I can I can relate in the sense that I am vehemently opposed to bell peppers. Really? Yeah. I but I think that they have more of a taste to them than tomatoes. Uh, a little bit. I don't know if I agree with that. Okay. Well, then maybe I'm just as bad as Nathan. <laughs> so I think it's worth pointing out that um, this is the first time. Willie and I are on an episode together. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, that's true. That's not a live app. 
the the most popular guest and the least popular guest <laughs> <laughs> together at last. Um, oh goodness! And me, the most neutral guest. Yeah. I think that's. I think that we are. Uh, we are positron. Wait, it's a uh, electron, proton, proton and, neutron. and neutron. Yeah, I well, feel like I'm just here, and no one really notices or cares, except for me. Guys, you you just counting yourself short here. Oh no. Whatever, Julia. I saw the Twitch chat when we were waiting for you to come in that day, and everyone spent like the entire time ch- chanting. Well, I think it's because I gave name. them like a time frame in which I would appear. It wasn't so much that like. So I need, I need to start to showing up late to things. Yeah, be like, I'll be there in five minutes, and then people will start chanting your name in, like, four. Well, I mean, we can settle this easily. Everyone leave in the comments. Who do you like best, <laughs> no. me, Jacob, or Julia? Why are you saying no? You're the one who's going to get all the comments. I don't like this. But you should. <laughs> this is Willie's episode. He has to pit someone yeah. against someone else, or else he will not be satisfied. I mean, I'm not so stupid that I would ever pit Julia against anything against her will. I just think that she's going to get a lot of people saying, Julia's my favorite person. Well, Julia is pretty great. She is awesome. I, well, I, I'm feeling conflicted. Thank you for the compliments, but mm. I just no. You no, it's fine. Yourself it's too fine. short. I love reading the comments. I like. I shouldn't say that I like reading the negative comments, but some of them are really fun. My favorite one ever mm-hmm. was someone on the last video. Someone posted, "Ah, eh, Willie's really annoying," and then like literally two minutes later, he commented underneath it, "Eh, he kind of grew on me," and that was. Like, <laughs> That was my favorite thing that ever happened. So I don't know who wrote that, but thank you. Changing I, minds and hearts. I'm glad you have an open mind and that I can. <laughs> it's like the fastest turnaround. Yeah. It's impressive. And I think that more people could learn from this person because we should yeah. all have open minds. Yeah. Be be accepting to change. Be accepting of Willie no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Listen to me. I'm always right. Speaking of likes and dislikes, uh, when we were talking about food, it reminded me that the only food I really hate is licorice. Really? Well, I despise licorice. Everybody hates licorice. It, like, makes me gag. Yeah. It, it's Well, you're lucky, though, because it's very avoidable, I yeah, would feel true. like. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm I never guess... going to, like, it's never going to slip into a pizza. Like, black or licorice is Ugh. never just going to, like, slip in. God. What a yeah. reprehensible pizza that would be. Yeah. Even worse than pineapple on pizza? Although I do kind of like pineapple Oh, on I pizza. love pineapple on pizza. I like pineapple on pizza, but I don't want to, I'm not, like, out about it. Uh, I, I feel like I will join in and make fun of people. <laughs> For Hawaiian pineapple. pizza is my favorite type of pizza, I think. I think if anything in this episode is going to divide the readers, it's not going to be the people deciding which Drawfee member is their favorite. Because but... they're all going to say you. We're <laughs> 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 not going to be divided. We already established that. It's a that. unified front. <laughs> You're the proton, Julia. And guys, I've came up. We're the Adam gang. The Adam gang? The Adam gang. The proton, the neutron, the electron. We go together. I We're like the Adam that. gang. That's I us. don't like the root of it, but I like... I like... <laughs> I can imagine us all wearing, like, jean jackets that have Adam Gang yeah. in the back. I feel like we got to figure out a way to get Drawfee to pay for those. <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. just all get Adam tattoos uh-huh. Uh-huh. on our chests. Ta- yeah, forever and ever, we'll have those. Yeah. But they're Adams, but they have a big poof of hair and some glasses. And some glasses. Some glasses. So they're Adam, Adam ruins Connors. everything. Uh, Julia, and do you want to hop in? Together. Yes, I do. As you s- I've drawn this uh, existential crisis yeah. to Nathan. I feel like we've been, we haven't focused on how beautiful of it's a drawing this is. Like, you somehow made a beard on a tomato work. This, also, like, if Nathan were to, like, wake up in, like, a, like, Kafka-esque nightmare where he turned into a tomato, that is the exact expression he would make. Yeah, that would definitely be the face. Okay. It's like he it's pure horror. Yeah. And like yeah. disbelief. But then like ten seconds he'd get over it and be like, eh. He'd be like, ah, it's fine, I guess. Yeah. Gotta mm. go to work. Yeah. <laughs> and then he'd like <laughs> he'd like pitch in the editorial meeting ten things that suck about becoming a tomato. <laughs> about waking up as a tomato. Uh when we when Nathan uh was on the editorial team, every week we would have a pitch meeting and he would just pitch Basically, just whatever he like happened to him on his commute in, he'd be like, <laughs> "Yeah, whatever he experienced really? personally." Yeah, he'd would be, be like, pitch. six assholes who will sit next to you on the L train." Be like, "Nathan, we." <laughs> that was me. Yeah. Like that was me this morning. I was sitting next to you. So I'm drawing. I'm drawing, uh, Mr. Caldwell Tanner. I can see that. Well, yeah, it looks just like him. Yeah. Yeah. It's... Can you give him more of a chin? No, he's okay. Well, just put a chin I, on that fish. Yeah, I feel like he needs the chin. Like, okay, he needs it. Yeah. So, 
Oh, I yep, that's there Caldwell. There we go. There that we go. Caldwell. That's Caldwell to a T. Yeah. Okay, so Julia, uh, uh-huh. what do you dislike about Caldwell? I just. Why has he got to live so far? Yeah, that's that true. That is the worst what part What a garbage about Caldwell. thing. Way to inconvenience all of us for pursuing your dream. Yeah. He and doing a good job at it. Country. Although it is fun when he comes into town and then, like, everyone sees him. Yeah. Yeah. We have a, a big. Big hangout. Uh huh. It's like, like, it's oh, like daddy's here. home. Yeah. Daddy's home again. Papa Caldwell. The one yeah. time he came in and he brought in donuts. <gasps> so, d- d- and you... then every time after that was a disappointment because he didn't have those donuts. Yeah. Am I right? Am I right? You're right. It's true. I also very much enjoy uh, people watching this at home being like, what the hell is this drawing of Caldwell? <laughs> we, we haven't have talked given about it at zero all. Zero explanation <laughs> for it. <laughs> Yeah, you're just, right. You're just drawing this like weird big chinned monster, <laughs> <laughs> like penguin thing. And like, <laughs> no, you're right. Um, I'm drawing Codwell. Oh I'm drawing, yeah, like the fish. Yeah, yeah. Codwell Tanner. See now it all makes. Sense. But he has human legs for some reason. Because he, he has, has to match match stature with Nathan over here. I really like that we've. They look so good side by side. Like I love them. They do. It does look like a food based like cartoon show. Yeah. But like neither one of them is happy to be here or happy with what they've become. No. (laughs) 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 I just keep laughing about it. Oh Oh, my god. Is he still going to be wearing like a Caldwell outfit like the collared shirt and the... Oh, should he? Uh, Do you think he should or do you think I should do another... Another name pun in there? If you got more name puns then we got to go that direction. Go name pun. Name pun? Yes. Yes. Oh, goodness. Okay. Well, why did I give him so many chins? <laughs> yeah, has, I mean, well, you know how cods have so yeah. many chins. <laughs> I think you were just feeling out the drawing. It looked right. I was thinking about how, like, fish would fold if you bent to them that way somehow. And then it, it just came out to be, like, a bunch of folds yeah. here. Julia's folded a lot of fish in her day. Yeah. <laughs> she what? just catches live fish and just folds them around to see how they look. So she spends the weekend. Mm-hmm. You got it. Um, here's a question I have about Caldwell. Not necessarily Caldwell. Okay. But when you guys picture him, is he wearing a bow tie? I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like and like his circular glasses, kind of like the Adam Conover glasses. Yeah. And I also, picture him in the glasses, but no bow tie. He did wear a bow tie for a while in the office. I feel like he's always in a bow tie. He used to wear like tweed blazers all the time. Mm. He's got a very bow tie personality. Yeah. yeah. I think that might be what it is. Yeah, and yeah, he, he wore that hat for so long before we even <laughs> knew him. I guess you probably knew him when he wore the hat, Julia. Yeah, I was I I was here in the days of before, Hat Caldwell. Before Suze told yeah. him no more. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you said you're making a uh, name pun, and then you just drew a harness on him. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I think the people who don't know what's going on are probably like, "What the fuck is going on?" So, do you want to explain? This is a fun guessing game. <laughs> I think that we should just do one thing where, like, <laughs> we just have Julia draw a suggestion that we don't tell people what it is. Yeah. And just trying to figure that out. I can't tell I'm laughing so That's a funny idea. <laughs> um, so Caldwell wearing his signature leather harness uh-huh. as a fish. Uh-huh. Did you want to explain it? Yeah, he, okay, so <laughs> Cal- <laughs> Caldwell's name <laughs> <laughs> no, this is great, guys. Um, Caldwell's name, uh, Caldwell Tanner, so I'm trying to work in Tanner. And, like, I could have just drawn a, a leather Tanner, because those are, those are a thing, but it's very boring, so I've yeah. decided to make him a leather daddy. Yeah, no, I think that's... <laughs> is that coming across? I think, and no, it makes yeah. perfect sense now. This it's is coming who, across. This is who Caldwell Tanner <laughs> would be. I think he might need a whip, but other than that... okay. I just love how, like, he doesn't look at all jazz to be here, and he's just gotten more upset. Oh, it just crossed the line into Tim Burton character. Yeah. Oh, because like, of the small pupil? Tim Burton, yeah. You put the leather on him, and his pupil shrank. Like, what? what is going to become of me now? I just love, like, <laughs> Caldwell of all people. It's just like, wow, they drew me? Like, I wonder where they took me. It's going to be this, like, abomination of a fish monster in a leather harness. <laughs> 
<laughs> Caldwell, oh if you're watching this, I am so sorry. We should have... I'm not sorry at all. <laughs> you should uh, warn Nathan and have uh, <laughs> have Caldwell watch, like, a, do a reaction <laughs> video to it. Oh, man, I would love to Absolutely. see that. Does this look enough like Caldwell? <laughs> I mean, the resemblance <laughs> is uncanny. <laughs> <laughs> well, is this what you were hoping for <laughs> when you wanted so to? So much more than I was hoping for, Julia. That was beautiful. I feel like the um, um, the tone of this droppy show, hosted by <laughs> Codwell and Tomatha, yeah. would be much darker. Oh God, yeah. Can no. I can I switch our guys around for a second? Yeah, because yeah, sure. I feel like they have to be having a conversation. Hold on. Well, right. <laughs> They're fusing. My God. <laughs> oh no. Oh no! Please. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna flip him around. Whoop! Oh, <laughs> oh god, now Tomason can't see him. He's coming up behind him with a leather web. <laughs> Watch out, little tomato man. Your problems have only begun for today. I'm crying again. You thought it couldn't get any worse. I got bad news for you, my dude. <laughs> If this drawing takes on like a like Slender Man esque ish like terrible streak to it, I would not be surprised. It seems haunted. It seems this is a haunted drawing. Yeah, for this sure. is this is <laughs> this is cursed. He's responding. To- okay, but again, I'm reading this as him saying, "I don't know," because he's like scared of killing him. <laughs> it's like I I don't know. Can I can I do it? And then. <laughs> He's just going through his own turmoils. I feel like this doesn't look enough like Caldwell. Should we add a bow tie? Should we just see how that looks, maybe? Just stick a bow tie on it. Why not? And maybe a... <laughs> the bow tie might need to be... Worse. The bow tie it's needs so to be not black. It's so much the bow tie. The black bow tie is just... It's not... It doesn't make any sense. There we go. Here it's... we go. There, now it's going Oh my together. god, this looks so much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Crying Wait, can I, can I just do something real quick? Yeah, yeah. please do. I just want to 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 add a little uh, <laughs> a little movement to this. <laughs> Kill it. So oh, I think we're just that... gonna do a little shake, <laughs> guys, and then he just goes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. And then we'll just have called hustle. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you know what it reminds me of kind of and this is like I have a very high tolerance for things being creepy okay uh, and this thing creeped me out for years it kind of reminds you guys remember salad fingers <laughs> yes it is his salad fingers it is it is an, uh, oh, st- <laughs> I think it's looking at me <laughs> <laughs> I really want to do a slow zoom of of Codwell in Nathan's tomato ear. We can make Nathan edit that in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nathan, put in some creepy music and do a slow zoom of, of Caldwell whispering do, do, into Nathan's do. ear. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you guys have anything else you need to add? I don't no. think anything else needs to be in this. It is <laughs> no. perfect and beautiful. I guess we now know why Nathan and Caldwell are usually the hosts, <laughs> because when they go away, this happens. Uh... Okay, um, so I guess that's been my takeover of Droffy. Uh, thanks for watching Knock Offy. Yeah, uh, listen to my podcast, Caught in the Web. If you haven't, say hashtag Team Adam Gang in the, um, <laughs> comments. In the comments. And uh, if if the Codwell creature kind of climbs out of your computer screen like the little girl from The Ring, uh, let us know because I'm genuinely afraid that that could happen. If you're on the social medias, follow... Drawfee on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, which I've taken over. Julia's the social media mogul for Drawfee uh, now. Yeah. Um, we are doing uh, daily uh, sh- little mini Drawfee episodes. I like to call them Drawfee Beans. Yeah, Drawfee Beans. I think that was agreed upon. We're doing some daily Drawfee little beans. mini Drawfees on Facebook, so if you follow us on Facebook, you can see those every single day. Yep. And also, uh, we're on Twitch uh, basically every Sunday at 3, <clears throat> Eastern Standard Time. Nice. I think that's it. There's all the plugs. Uh, yeah. Cool. Also, uh, mail Nathan a tomato <laughs> just to see what happens. Please don't. And I personally am not sorry. I, this is knockoff drop. We don't have to be yeah. sorry. 
Guys, so it all went well until I started drawing the cod. No, that's daddy. when it went so. That's beautiful. when it went. So I'm perfect. kind of sorry. Uh, okay, Julia is kind of sorry. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Hey Caldwell, hey we got a, hey. we got something special to share with you today. Uh huh. So let, let's jump right into this. Oh, yeah. could we please? Here's you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait well, is the appropriate thing to say. Uh, <laughs> hold on. Yep. Yep. So is uh, is there like <laughs> is there a pun that I'm missing? So you have Tomathan, right? Yeah. And then for you, we have Codwell. Ah, uh, so I thought. You're a cod. There you go. Mm-hmm. You're a cod, but we had to keep your chin in there, of course. Yeah. And then through a couple leaps of logic. <laughs> yeah, one or two. We went from your last name being Tanner to being a person who yeah. you know, makes leather, a tanner, to being a uh, leather daddy. Right. A leather daddy fish man. <laughs> <laughs> How did you know my secret Twitter handle name? <laughs> <laughs> leather daddy fish man. <laughs> yeah, leather daddy fish man. It seems like... This is the right before the scene gets really bad as I start just like <laughs> beating the shit out of Nathan and saying, I don't know, over and over again. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> louder and louder. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, guys, this has been, this is great. You're all fired. That's fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think we expected that outcome. We went out on top. Yeah. Get off, get off my channel. You're not welcome It was welcome worth every here. minute. <laughs> <laughs> was it worth it to, to burn so many bridges? Burn them all, man. I'll do it for Codwell and Tomathan. <laughs> do it for Codwell. <laughs> Hashtag do it for Codwell. <laughs> I believe in Tomathan. Well, we're sorry. 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 <laughs>